Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, dear viewers from around the world. Welcome to another new and exciting episode of Islamic Jeopardy. I am your host, Ali Ahmed. We have with us the three groups, Muhajirun, Ansar, and Darus Salam. And with Muhajirun, we have this lovely brother. Please introduce yourself. My name is Muhammad Sham. I am 21 years old. I'm from Spanish. I'm here to improve my Islamic information. Inshallah. Very good, mashallah. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Thank you. Inshallah. And with the team of Ansar, we have this lovely brother. Please introduce yourself. Brother Omar Abdullah Dubois. I'm from America, 31 years old, and I'm here studying the Arabic language. And mashallah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you. Welcome, brother. Amen. And with Darus Salam, we have this lovely brother. Please introduce yourself. Yo, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Muhammad Garba. I'm from Nigeria. I'm here to study Islam. I'm 25 years old. MashaAllah. Hmm. Welcome, brother. Thank you. And I would like to welcome our beautiful audience. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Are you guys excited for a new round of Islamic Jeopardy? Yes. Contestants, are you guys excited for a new round of Islamic Jeopardy? Inshallah. Viewers, are you guys excited for a new round of Islamic Jeopardy? All right. Now, from the last episode, we had Muhajirun at 14,500 points. Ansar, we had 16,300 points. Darus Salaam, we had 17,000 and 500 points mashallah so we will go ahead and begin with darus salam and we have with us the six new categories which are daily dua prophet ibrahim alayhi salam quran abu bakr radiyallahu anhu Islam in Africa, and we have Muslim foods. So since you had the most points, we're going to let you choose, Brother Muhammad. Okay. Let me start from Quran 100. Quran for 100. This is the Prophet mentioned the most in the Quran. I think Prophet Musa. Who is Musa alayhi salam? Very good. He is mentioned by name the most in the Holy Quran. Very good. Let me choose Muslim foods 100. Muslim foods for 100. Muslims are allowed to eat from these two groups of religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made halal for us to eat from these two types of religion. Uh, from Jews okay. and the Christians. Alright, very good. Who are the Jews and the Christians or known as Ahlul Kitab. Kitab? Very good, Brother Muhammad. Let me choose from um, Daily prayer, 100. Daily dua, hmm. for 100. This is one of the dua you say before you sleep. Allahumma, bismika amutu wa ahya. Very good, mashallah. Which is, O oh Allah, in your name do I die and live. Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya. Very good, brother Muhammad from Darussalam. Thank you. 
Let me choose 500 from Quran. MashaAllah, he just wants to jump right there at 500 from Quran. Yeah. Ayatul Kursi can be found in this surah. Surah Al-Baqarah. Alright, what is Surah Al-Baqarah? Mm. And it is the second chapter of the Holy Quran. And it is at verse number 255. Very good, brother Muhammad. Thank you. Let me choose from Islam in Africa for hundred. Islam in Africa for hundred. For four hundred. Yeah. Very good. In which Muslim country does the two Nile rivers meet? This is the Muslim country where the two Nile rivers meet. I think Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Okay. No, that is not the correct answer, but that's a very good guess, though. We'll go to Brother Muhammad Hisham from Muhajirun. Yours. This is the Muslim country where the two Nile rivers, they meet. And they become one. I got Sudan. Okay, very good, yeah. mashallah. What is Allah, Sudan? Allah. All right, very good, mashallah. Now it is your turn to choose the next question. Muslim foods for 500. Muslim foods for 500. It seems like you love food and you know your food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. Kabsa is a family of rice dishes and is the national dish of this Muslim country? Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yes. Very good. What is? Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Yes. Very good, mashallah. Mm -hmm. I would like to have some <laughs> kapsa tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Muslim foods for 400. Muslim foods for 400. Eating banana with spaghetti is a popular dish in this Muslim country. I guess Pakistan. No. Pakistan? Yes. No, no. that is not no. the correct answer. Yeah. We will go with brother Omar from Ansar. This is Ma'roof. This is Somalia. All right. What is Somalia? And I think I'm getting very hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of some nice bananas with spaghetti. Okay, very good. Yeah. Brother Omar, you get to choose. Let's go with... Um, I'm going to go with Prophet Ibrahim for 200. Prophet so, Ibrahim alayhi salam for 200. Bismillah. This was the name of Ibrahim's father. Subhanallah. That's a good no. That's a good response. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Very good. You get a reward. <laughs> you get a reward while you answer. Um What was I'll give the a, name? I'll give. I'll give a. I'll give a. Um, I'll give a try. Sure, of course. Um, We're here. Remember, we are here to learn no. from our mistakes. So no. there is no sort of embarrassment or anything no. like this. Inshallah, no. we're here to all learn. Inshallah, wa ta'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa. We're here to support one another in good and in righteousness. I'll say his name was Hum. Okay, Hum. No, that is not the correct <laughs> answer. But thank you for trying. Go to Brother Muhammad from Darul Salam. Uh, I think his father's name is Azar. All right, very good. What is Azar? And it is mentioned in the Quran uh, with Qala Ibrahim li Abihi Azar. All right, very good. Brother Muhammad from Darul Salaam. Got that. MashaAllah. Go ahead. Uh, let me speak from Ibrahim 100. Ibrahim alayhi salam mm. for 100. Mm. Ibrahim alayhi salam had two sons who were prophets. What are the names of those two sons? 
think they are Ismail. Okay. And uh, Ishaq. Okay. Mm. Very good, mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> Who were Ismail and Ishaq? Ishaq. Yeah. Very good. Can you imagine a father being honored with having mm. two sons mm. and they were both prophets? Subhanallah. Mm. Very good, Brother Muhammad. Let me choose from Abu Bakr to honor Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu for 200. His father's name was, or Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, father's name was? I think Quhafa. Abu? Abu Quhafa. Huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. His name was Uthman, mm -hmm. yeah. or well known as Abu Quhafa. Mm -hmm. Very good, mashallah. Yeah. Brother Muhammad, you get to choose. Let me choose from uh, Abu Bakr 100. Abu Bakr for 100. Very good. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was the number this Khalifa of Islam. Uh, actually, number one. All right. <laughs> Very good, mashallah. What is the first Khalifa? Mm -hmm. uh, let me choose from. Islam in Africa. Okay, Islam in Africa for 300. This is an African country that has the largest Muslim population. But before you answer, we're going to have to take a short break. So please don't touch that remote control. We'll be right back. Praise every day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to the second half segment of Islamic Jeopardy. Right before the break, we asked our lovely brother Muhammad from Darus Salaam. This is the African country that has the largest Muslim population. Actually, that is my father's land. Okay. Nigeria. MashaAllah. <laughs> Which is Nigeria, yeah. and you are originally from Nigeria. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you guys. Thank and you. May Allah protect all of the Muslims um, in Nigeria. Very um, good, MashaAllah. What is Nigeria with a population, Muslim population of 75, 75 million. million Muslims? Very mm. good. Go ahead, Brother Muhammad. Let me choose 500 from Africa. Islam in Africa. Islam in Africa for 500? Mm. All right. What is the official language of Algeria and Morocco? French? French? Mm. No, that is not the official language of Algeria and Morocco, but that is one of the languages okay. they do speak. But the official mm -hmm. language of Algeria and Morocco is not French, it's something else, but that's a good try though, but Muhammad Hisham with Muhajirun will give you a chance to answer this question. The Arabic language. Is the Arabic language. language. No, unfortunately, that is one of the languages they speak, but it is not the official or the native language maybe, of... Maybe, yes. Maybe Berber language or no? Okay, Berber language? Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah, yeah. What is... Berber language, because I knew you had it right there, but you kind of confused it with Arabic. Okay, I'll give you the points for this one. What is Berber language? Very good. Yes, thank you. Muhajirun, you get to choose. Prophet Ibrahim for 300. Prophet Ibrahim, oh, alayhi salam, for 300. Alayhi Name the two wives of Ibrahim, alayhi salam. Sarah and Hajar. All right. MashaAllah. Who were? Hajar and Sarah yeah. radiallahu anhuma. Very good, mashallah. Get to choose again. Muslim food for uh, 300. I think you really know your dishes, brother. Yeah. Muslim food <laughs> for 300. Shabla. Chicken biryani is a Shabla. famous dish in this Muslim country. Inshallah, this one in Pakistan. All right, yeah. very good. What is? Pakistan. Pakistan. And I must say, I love chicken biryani. Yeah. The spicier, the better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. 
<laughs> Muslim dish for 200. Okay. <laughs> Muslim foods for 200. Uh, Kabuli palau is a famous and national dish in this Muslim country. In Afghanistan, inshallah. Okay. Very good. What is Afghanistan? Russia. Now they have the Kabuli palau where they got the carrots and they got the raisins and they got the meat on top of it. Mashallah, you have to try Kabuli Palau. Very good. All right. Muhammad Hisham, you get to choose again. Islam in Africa for 200. Islam in Africa for 200. The legendary Umar Mukhtar, rahimahullah, was no, from no. this Muslim country. From Libya. Very good. Yes. What is Libya? Yes. Mashallah, very good. Islam in Africa for 100. Islam in Africa for 100. This city in Africa is known for having 1,000 minarets. I, I will pass it on. No, we know you know it. Take a guess. No, I can't go to uh, you, you can't? Okay, no problem, inshallah. We'll go okay. to Brother uh, Omar from Ansar. Bismillah. I'm going to have to say Cairo. Very good. We live here in Cairo. We study here in Cairo. And the answer is, what is Cairo? He has masajids with about a thousand minarets. Very good, Brother Omar. Mashallah. Okay. Bismillah. I'm going to have to say Prophet Ibrahim for 400. Prophet Ibrahim for 400. Why was Ibrahim thrown into the fire by the non-believers? Because he destroyed their idols. All right. Yeah. Very good, mashallah. Because he destroyed their idols. He destroyed all of them except the big one. Big one. And then he put the axe yeah. on the big, one. the big one. So when they came and asked him, who destroyed it? He said, ask the bigger <laughs> one. And what did they say? He cannot hear or see. So then they were proven wrong that what they are worshipping are false. All right, very good, Brother Umar. Ibrahim alayhi salam for 500. All right, Ibrahim alayhi salam for 500. How many birds did Allah command Ibrahim to slaughter in order to see how Allah brings the dead back to life. If I can remember correctly, I'm going to take a guess. Sure, of course. I believe it was eight birds. Eight, eight birds? You know what, that's a very good guess, but that is not remember. the correct answer. Yeah. We'll go to Brother Muhammad from Darul Salaam. Uh, I think it is four bears. Four birds. Yeah. Very good, mashallah. Yeah. What are four yeah. birds? Yes. And this story, we can look it up in Surah Al-Baqarah, uh -huh. ayah number 260. Mm -hmm. Very good. Brother Muhammad, you okay. get to choose. I'm going to choose 200 from Quran. Quran for 200. Oh. This surah contains 30 verses and if recited every night it will save a person from the punishment of the grave. Mm. I think Surah Al-Mulk. All right, very good, mashallah. <laughs> what is Surah Al-Mulk? Mm. And we should strive extra hard every night. Mm. Try to read this surah before we go to sleep. And it is only 30 verses, so mm. it shouldn't take us too long. Mm -hmm. We should all have this intention, inshallah. Very good. Uh, let me choose Quran 300. Quran for 300. Yeah. This prophet is mentioned in the Quran only one time. I think Uzair. Okay, very good, mashallah. Who is Uzair and he is mentioned in Surah Tawbah which is the ninth surah of the Qur'an in verse number 
30, very good. Um, let me choose Abu Bakr, 500. Abu Bakr for 500, very good. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was appointed by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam to go to this place on his behalf in the month of Dhul Hijjah. Dhul Hijjah, yes. To go and represent him? To go and take the Muslim community hmm. to this particular place. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he was very sick and he was unable to do so. So he made him the leader of the Muslims to take them and lead them in this particular place. Okay. He asked him to lead them in prayer. In prayer? Mm. No, but that's a very good... Uh, actually, that's one of them, but not in this particular context. Uh, specifically to Dhul Hijjah, but that's a very good guess. Mm -hmm. We'll go to Brother Muhammad Hisham. No, no. Okay, no problem. We'll go to Brother Umar. I just want to take a guess. Sure, of course. Why not? All right. Five. Five? No, unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. What is Hajj? He made Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu the Khalifa or the Amir mm. or the leader for the Muslim community to offer Hajj. Thank you very much, dear audience. Unfortunately, we are out of time for this segment of Islamic Jeopardy. Hope you can join us for another round of Islamic Jeopardy. Jazakallahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.